All right, all of you do have one of the bulletins now? All right, good. Welcome to God's house where we are going to uh, be sharing God's blessings to all of us, but especially we're going to celebrate God's blessings as it gets poured out upon Charlotte and the, and the blessings that it is. The order of service is printed for, for each and every one of you uh, to have here, so please note that we will be following the order of service as, uh, as it is printed. So at this time, I will invite parents and godparents to come on up with me. Well, and bring Charlotte, too. And so we are going to begin in the same way in which Charlotte is going to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear beloved Christ, our Lord says in the last chapter of Matthew, all authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the last chapter of Mark, our Lord promises, whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. And the Apostle Peter has written, Baptism now saves you. The Word of God also teaches that we are all conceived and born sinful and are under the power of the devil until Christ claims us as his own. We'd be lost forever unless delivered from sin, death, and everlasting condemnation. But the Father of all mercy and grace has sent his son Jesus Christ to atone for the sin of the whole world, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. As parents, I ask you your child's full name. Charlotte Elizabeth Law. Charlotte Elizabeth Law. Receive the sign of the cross both upon your forehead and upon your heart to mark you as one loved and redeemed by Christ. Let us pray. Almighty eternal God, according to your strict judgment, you condemned the unbelieving world through the flood. Yet according to your great mercy, you preserved, believing Noah, his family, eight souls in all. You drawn hard-hearted Pharaoh and all his hosts in the Red Sea. Yet you led your people Israel through the water and dry ground, foreshadowing this washing of your holy baptism. Through the baptism of the Jordan of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, you sanctified and instituted all waters to be a blessed flood, a lavish washing away of sin. We pray that you would behold Charlotte according to your boundless mercy, blessing her with the true faith by the Holy Spirit. That through this saving flood, all sin and her, which has been inherited from Adam, which she herself has committed since, will be drowned and die. Grant that Charlotte be kept safe and secure in the holy ark of the Christian church, being separated from the multitude of unbelievers and serving your name at all times with a fervent spirit and a joyful hope, so that with all believers in your promise, Charlotte will be declared worthy of eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As Godparents, you're given that great task and that responsibility to share in this baptism, to be here to witness as you are, and then to continue to lift up Charlotte in God's care and encourage her to walk with her Lord. 
and so is it shares. From ancient times, the church observed the custom of appointing godparents for baptismal catechists and catechumens. In the evangelical Lutheran church, godparents are to confess the faith expressed in the Apostles' Creed taught in the small catechism. There, whenever possible, such as you are here to witness the baptism of those of whom they'll be a godparent. And as godparents, you are to pray for Charlotte, support her in their ongoing instruction, and nurture her in the Christian faith, and encourage her toward the faith reception of the Lord's Supper. Godparents are at all times to be examples of holy life, of faith in Christ, and love for their neighbor. Is it your intention to serve Charlotte as her godparent in the Christian faith? If so, then answer yes, with the help of God. Yes, with the help of God. God enable you both to will and do this faithful, loving work, and with his grace, fulfill what we are enabled to do. Amen. We hear the Holy Gospel. According to St. Mark, they brought young children to Jesus that he might touch them, but the disciples rebuked those who brought them. When Jesus saw it, he was greatly displeased and said to them, Let the little children come to me. Do not forbid them. For of such is the kingdom of God. Surely I say to you that whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will by no means enter it. And he being Jesus took up those little ones in his arms, put his hands on them, and blessed them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As we turn to our Heavenly Father for the gift of the blessing, we turn together as a faith family now, praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord preserve your going in, your coming out from this time forth, and even forevermore. Amen. Godparents and parents will be speaking on behalf of Charlotte. And there what my mother, here it is again. All right, we'll be speaking on behalf of Charlotte, but as everybody here, I invite you to respond as well. Charlotte Elizabeth Wall, do you renounce the devil? If so, then answer, yes, I renounce him. Yes, I renounce him. To renounce all his works? If so, then answer, yes, I renounce them. Yes, I renounce them. To renounce all his ways? If so, then answer, yes, I renounce them. Yes, I renounce them. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of the heaven and the earth? If so, then answer, yes, I believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, and descended into hell? The third day he rose again from the dead, ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. If so, then answer, yes, I believe. Yes, I believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, Holy Christian Church, communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting? If so, then answer, yes, I believe. Parents and godparents for Charlotte, please respond for her. Charlotte Elizabeth Wall, do you desire to be baptized? So then answer, yes, I do. Yes, Charlotte Elizabeth Wall, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Almighty God and Father, Lord Jesus Christ, has given you the new birth of the Spirit, and has forgiven you all of your sins and strengthened you with his grace to life everlasting. Amen. This is your little white garment to show that you've been clothed with the robe of Christ's righteousness that covers all your sin. So shall you stand without fear before the judgment seats of Christ to receive the inheritance prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Amen. And Charlotte, we have here for you a candle right here that has been made for that has been picked out for you. And we light it off the Christ candle to show that you have the light of Christ and his light will always shine upon you and will be with you always. And hold that. And then we also have here a very special blanket made by someone very special, but also made on behalf of this congregation to show and remind you that the love that God has for you. And when you wrap up with this, remember that God loves you and this congregation has you, but maybe wait a few days. It's kind of warm to do that. <laughs> and then we have these ones for you and the one for your godparents over there. And that's to remind them of the promise that uh, they had of their love for you, but also love to encourage you in God's word and God's ways. 
give you those. I'm going to have you go ahead and blow out the candle at this time, just because, and I invite you guys to come up here with me. And so in holy baptism, the Father has made you, Charlotte, a member of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and an heir with us of the treasures of heaven in the one holy Christian apostolic church. We receive you, Charlotte, in Jesus' name as our sister in Christ, that together we might hear his word, receive his gifts, and proclaim the praise of him who called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Amen. We welcome you in the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Almighty and most merciful Father, we thank and we praise you that you graciously preserved and enlarged your family and have granted Charlotte the new birth and holy baptism and made her a member of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and an heir of the heavenly kingdom. We, impum- we humbly implore you that she has now become your child. You would keep her in her baptismal grace that according to your good pleasure she may faithfully grow to lead a godly life to the praise and honor of your holy name. And finally, with all your saints, obtain the promise and inheritance in heaven through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Peace be with all of you. Amen. Dad, I give you your daughter that God has blessed you with as a family. And as God has blessed you with a family, God has blessed you with the opportunity to raise your children to, with the care that you have for them, but also to encourage you as you raise your children, to remind them and continuously place before them the care that God has for them and that God loves them. Because that's really, when we come to this baptism, it's really all about what God does today and the continued knowledge and growing up of knowing that. May God again bless your family as he continues to give you this great joy for your family. And godparents, godparents have a joy of not only being godparents, but they get the medal in one part of the upbringing of the child's life, their godchild's life. And that's your vows as godparents encourage her with her walk of the Lord and Savior. So as that encouragement, you can get to encourage the parents as well in their walk. And so that's the one area you get the medal because they made you the godparents. So that's it. So, all right. As you guys return back to seats, we'll, continue, we'll finish with the benediction for all of you. Again, as you celebrate as a family, you celebrate the goodness of God, you celebrate the mercy of God and the blessings that God has here for you, for your family. And so as you go this day, go with that blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you, be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor, granting to you, and especially to Charlotte, his peace. Amen. I'm going to go ahead and have you ladies go ahead and put out the candles.